Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the Smart Exceller. This video is about cell references. You know, it's a very easy one, but it's very difficult to learn on cell references and how to get used to it. Myself, I myself have been making videos and I have been just confused with absolute cells and reference and relative cell references. So now I have made it into a simple complex, simple form. So anything which doesn't have any, any reference is called a relative reference. So just like our relatives, we don't have nothing to do with this. So it's, it is called it will be called as relative reference. This is an individual independent cell reference without any locks. And the, the opposite of this is an you know, absolute cell reference. It's absolutely a locked cell. So anything it does not move here and there when you use formulas or this absolute cell reference and now we have called a mixed cell reference so what is a mixed cell reference is it if you lock it in the middle and if you can lock it will lock the cell for a row wise and if you lock the space for a column wise so let me show you one example so if you want to see what is cell what the relative cell reference i want to show you what is the absolute cell reference in the beginning so relative cell reference has nothing has no uh, no much uh, theoretical okay, or practical in formulas. So, what is the absolute cell reference? Is suppose I want to add thousand for each of them. So, I will do this. I'll be typing here as thousand and two thousand and three thousand. Suppose if I want to add 1000 for all this, uh, all the values over here, I will just want to add. So, what I will be doing is, I will making, I'll be making into a fixed one. So, I will be selecting this cell and I will going to press 1000 and if I hit enter. So, now this has been added. And again, if I want to copy this down, these cells are not been added so what is showing is it is coming down so if you see the references this plus this is over here again if you come here you can see it's coming down and again if you can see the things are moving down so if i want to lock it what i will what i have to do is just see this carefully i will be locking this in the reference so what i'll be doing is i'll be hitting f4 so now in the hit you can see two dollar signs in this and i'll be doing enter now the same way you can see the value will be changing so now if i show you the links the formulas it is locked and it is going fixed over here this is also fixed over here so you can see each of them is coming down and getting fixed over here. So this is called an absolute cell reference where we log the things. Now <clears throat> the next part is <clears throat> mixed cell reference. So it is for rows and columns. <clears throat> how this is going to change for I'm going to show you how this will change for columns in the beginning. How does it change for a column? Suppose <clears throat> okay let me come to this. Now I want to have amount plus planned cost. So for columns, actually it's a free will over here. I don't actually I don't need to do that. So control Z. So I'll be typing equal to this plus this and hitting enter. Now you can see C3 plus D3. But actually I don't require to do that automatically. The system will be changing automatically. But some areas, some cases, we need to do those. Uh, we need to do this uh, uh, in the column uh, row in the column wise also. Oh, sorry, in the row in a row wise also. For uh, <clears throat> for each row. But here it is automatically it has been done. So even if I change this, you can see that if I put a dollar signature in the beginning 
So you just see the values is 12,600, 16,200, 8,600, 10,900, 11,900, 18,500. It doesn't make any impact because already automatically Excel is born to do that. So if I hit F4, 1, 2, and 3, and you can see the dollars and only one dollar sign in the beginning. And if I hit enter, and you can see 16,800 dollars. So you can see these values have not been changed at all. So this is a big cell reference for columns. Now in the same way, if I want to have a reference wise for, for a row wise. So if I want to have this next to this. So if we do, if we click this and add this and hit enter. And in the same way, if I pull this down and if I pull this down also. So you can see automatically Excel is moving around. Now if, if you want to have some formulas when you're using formulas, if, you, if, if this doesn't happen, then what you have to do is you have to make a cell reference from the middle. So when you make this, you should have F4, 1, 2, and 3, 1 and 2. So you can see the dollar sign in the middle. So now when I hit enter, it actually does not, not change, but you can see that the dollar sign is over here. So in this way, uh, as we show, I told you that how to use the cell references, and uh, I just gave a brief about this. So I hope you like this video and understand about the cell references. So. Please uh, like this video, please share this video. I don't think many people have done this away in YouTube. So please share this video. So the confusions in cell references cleared for many people. And please subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video.